but I totally got a whole ass another dog. Not being as productive as me, that's for sure the chair that she ate. So I got a new car. It's a she's a and welcome to vlogmas day one i am so sorry to start off vlogmas 2022 looking like a whole mess but i literally just got out of bed and i need to straighten my hair today so that's what's going on here but first i have to walk my dogs and yeah oh my god it's vlogmas i cannot believe it's already the start of vlogmas of course, Caitlin and I had to come back and do Vlogmas again. This is our seventh year doing Vlogmas and we were not going to give up now. So we are going to be doing Vlogmas again this year, despite our complete and total absence from our channel this year. I mean, I guess I can't say complete and total absence because we have been on the channel a little bit from time to time, but definitely not as much as we used to be. But we were not going to miss the opportunity to do Vlogmas again. This was definitely in all the years of having our channel, which has been like nine years now, um, the year that we have vlogged the least and uploaded the least, which is crazy because I feel like so many things have happened that you guys don't even know about. Um, if you follow us on Instagram at Caitlin and Kylie, you might know a little bit more because I try to keep up updated on our stories over there, but even there I've been kind of lacking this year. Um, so yeah, like for example, if you guys don't keep up with me on like my, all of my Instagram accounts and everything, which everything will be linked down below so you can follow me everywhere if you want to. I have a dog blog and an Instagram account and a TikTok account that go with it that I post on all the time. So if you want to keep up with me at all, um, that is definitely a good place to go follow me. But guys, I got a new dog this year. Like how did you guys not even know that? I've never mentioned it on the channel, but I totally got... A whole ass another dog this year <laughs> she is a another husky her name is phoebe she is two years old and she is all white and um i guess i'll just tell the story um long story short i work as a vet assistant at a vet clinic and she came in for behavioral um euthanasia which is when we euthanize a perfectly healthy animal because mentally they are unhealthy so there's nothing wrong with behavioral euthanasias. We do them, um, not all the time, but we do do them and they're necessary in a lot of cases. But with Phoebe, I did not think that it was necessary. And of course, because she's a husky, I had a soft spot in my heart for her. And so when her owners called, I wanted to have her euthanized because she was aggressive with their kids. Um, I talked to my doctor and we, she agreed to ask them to surrender her instead of euthanize her. And then our plan was to find her a new home from there. Um, and when she came in, they did surrender her and she, they came in to bring her to us and she was still showing some signs of aggression towards us. And we were told that she was aggressive towards kids. So that was concerning to my doctor because I'm talking about you. I am like talking about you because my doctor was planning on fostering her until we found her a new home. And my doctor was like, I just can't handle an aggressive dog. Like I just can't do it. Um, and so after a lot of tears and everything, my parents agreed to let me bring her home and foster her because my doctor was this close to putting her down and I just couldn't let it happen. And I broke out in tears in the middle of the workday. And so she was like, fine, I won't put her down, but I don't know what to do with her. And so my, my parents agreed to let me take her and foster her. And after about a month or two of fostering her, they were like, you can just keep her. So now I have her and she's not aggressive at all. She just... She's a little bit of a nutcase, um, but she's not aggressive. She just has no trust. She kind of grew up in a um, not very, like, good home. Like, she wasn't abused, but she was definitely, like, kind of neglected. And so she, because of that, has no, like, manners. She doesn't, 
she, yeah so she'll growl a little bit she, but she's not she's not really aggressive she's a very sweet girl and yeah and I've had her since July so I don't know how I mean I guess because we've only really vlogged like trips and stuff this year um she just hasn't I haven't mentioned her to you guys but I forgot I have had her since July um and yeah her and Luna are finally starting to get along nicely they were not getting along at all when I first brought her home but now they're finally starting to get along and yeah I can't I have two Siberian Huskies I mean that's crazy I also got a new car this year I got a new car in July too I've never mentioned that either I got a um, I traded in my Corolla, which was the first car I ever bought when I was 18. I traded it in for a RAV4 and she is beautiful and I love her. And yeah, I just feel like there's been so much going on this year. And since we haven't done like just regular vlogs, we've only been vlogging trips and concerts and things. You guys don't know about any of it. So I'm excited to do Vlogmas this year and let you guys in on like our day-to-day -day lives, which I feel like you've been completely missing from um, this entire year. And yeah, I'm still just so sorry. I'm starting off Vlogmas looking so ugly, but I'm gonna go walk my dogs and then um, get on with the day. I sincerely wish I did not look this ugly right now um, because it's ruining my vibe. But I am about to straighten my hair as soon as I finish my coffee and then I will not look like such a hot fucking mess. I figured while I sit here and drink my coffee, we could have a little chit chat about what to expect for Vlogmas this year. I always like to try to do this on Vlogmas day one and set our expectations so that nobody, including myself, is expecting more than what I have to give. <laughs> so um vlogmas this year of course we're going to upload every single day today is wednesday november 30th every year we start vlogmas on november 30th and we upload on december 1st and then december 1st we upload on december 2nd and that is how we do it every single year even though pretty much everyone else starts vlogging on december 1st and uploads on december 2nd but i just think that that's the wrong way to do it so we don't do it like that so today is wednesday it's november 30th and we are vlogging today for vlogmas day one i literally can't believe it's already vlogmas i am so excited so this year i feel like is going to be the same as last year as far as expectations for vlogging goes because we are pretty much in the same situation as we were in last year i am still working full-time as a vet assistant and caitlin is still working um like part-time at starbucks part-time as a dance teacher and she's in school still so we are both super super busy and so i just want everyone to know right now i'm putting it out there some vlogs might be really boring some vlogs might go up at two o'clock in the morning I'm going to do my very best to vlog as much as I can. I cannot say the same about Caitlyn, but you know, we all know this every year that we don't, we never know what we're going to get with Caitlyn when it comes to Vlogmas. Um, but I am going to do my very best to vlog as much as I can every day and to get them up at a timely manner. But some days they're probably going to go up late and some days they might be up at a decent time. It just is what it is. Um, but there will be a vlog for every single day of December. So if you realize you didn't see a vlog on December 10th, go back and find it because i promise you it'll be there this year also i do not work at the dog daycare anymore which i think it's literally our first vlogmas that i don't work there it is because our first vlogmas we did was 2016 and i started working there in 2016. that is crazy so this is our first year vlogmas that i don't work at the dog daycare um i quit back in march i don't know See, so many things just didn't make it into the vlogs this year because I just wasn't really we weren't really vlogging at all this year um, but i did quit working there in march as you guys know last year i was working full-time as a vet assistant but i had wednesdays off so i worked wednesdays at the dog daycare still um but in march i quit there because some shit was just going down and it was not good <laughs> so i quit I and mean, i don't work there anymore so i actually have wednesdays completely off now they're my day off in the middle of the week it is the best thing ever because i work nine to ten hour shifts monday tuesday thursday and friday working on Wednesdays would literally put me overtime every single week and I didn't want to do all that um so I 
don't work Wednesdays. We actually ended up closing the vet clinic on Wednesdays. Um, so I don't work them at all anymore. We just have Wednesdays off. It's so nice because they work Monday, Tuesday, I'm off Wednesday. And then it's like, oh, it's already Thursday. And then before I know it, it's Friday and then it's the weekend again. And it's, it's great. So yeah, Wednesdays are my day off. So that way you guys can expect Wednesday vlogs to be some of the better vlogs because I don't have to go to work. Um, and then obviously the weekends as well will be great vlogs because yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff coming up throughout this month. Candle Day is on <laughs> on Saturday, this Saturday. So Tito and I are going to do that, which is just Bath and Body Works. They have a big candle sale, but we always go to this big mall where we live and go shopping all day and stuff. And so we're doing that. Um, my aunt is turning 40 this year, so we are throwing her a big 40th birthday party, but it's Christmas themed because her birthday is December 12th. So it's like a very merry birthday because her name is Mary and we're like doing an ugly Christmas sweater theme and we're throwing that here. So that'll be fun. We are also going to Jingle Ball this year, which I'm so excited because we did not go the last couple of years. Obviously 2020, they didn't have it. And then we didn't go last year. Um, So I'm excited. We're going to Jingle Ball. That's December 13th. Just all sorts of fun stuff coming up this month. Yeah. Um, As far as the daily vlogs go, I'm going to do my best to vlog every day. I we'll see what Caitlin ends up vlogging. I already texted her this morning to remind her it was Vlogmas and she informed me that she didn't know if she was going to be able to vlog today. And I said, bitch, figure it the fuck out. It's the first day of Vlogmas. Like, what do you mean? But anyway, we're not going to start another sister fight in Vlogmas this year. We're just going to go with the flow. And if you just get me, you just get me. And I don't know what else to say about that. Um, but yeah, we did decorate our house for Christmas on Black Friday, like we always do the day after Thanksgiving. And we did vlog that like we always do to insert into Vlogmas. So I'm going to go ahead and put that footage here. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it is officially Vlogmas day one, which is insane. It's really just the day after Thanksgiving, but as always, we start our Vlogmas day after Thanksgiving and Vlogmas decorating for Christmas. Yes, so we are decorating for Christmas right now. We're starting a little later this year. It's like 3.30, so My we'll dad see. had to work this morning, so we'll yes. see how much we get done today, because normally we do like from like literally 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Yes. So we'll see, this but lighting is doing me no favor. <laughs> it, yeah, it's very bright. I'm trying to like not put the shadows, but yeah. we're super excited. We're going to vlog it, obviously, of course. We're starting with the main tree out there, so as always, let's go through it. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times Teamwork makes the dream work the vlog so bad maybe we're changing out our pictures and the frames that we have hanging up there to our Christmas photos let me change Leonette's I'll show you these pictures are literally like seven years old so we probably need to take new ones at this point but she's still cute <laughs> I'm gonna take on the task of putting up the missile 
let me vlog it. It's really hard too. I just had an absolute mental breakdown trying to fix this tree and I didn't even fix it well. It literally looks bad. But the, all the lights on it were burnt out. So I had to take them all off and put new ones on. I was like, oh, maybe I can add these like little like thingies there to like make it have more, like why is it, I don't know. And I don't remember whatever goes over here. Like I know those go here and this goes here, but like something else goes here. And I'm looking for something to put here. I'm just really struggling. Um, nothing's coming to me the way it usually does when we decorate for Christmas. Like normally I'm like pretty good at like putting things together, but I also feel like, sorry, I feel like I can't really find anything that I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for though, but for some reason I can't find anything, so. Anyways, that's my update. Everyone else is just sitting over there. Well, actually just Nelson is in view, but I don't know what everyone else is doing. But not being as productive as me, that's for sure. All right, we got the jingle all the way, and we're about to take down all the Christmas mugs. several hours I look much better now because I straightened my hair um and then I've just been working on my blog so I post on my blog every Wednesday and today I just got that post up it was 12 holiday activities to do with your dog so I got that up and then I also got a Pinterest post up and I was working on um planning out TikToks because my goal is to do 12 days of TikToks in a row with 12 holiday activities to do with your dog so each one of these activities I just put in this blog post I'm gonna do with my dogs for 12 days in a row starting tomorrow and I'm gonna post it on TikTok do I think that I have more time than I really do in this world during the month of December yes but the good news is that a lot of these are kind of simple so I can like film a few in a day and then just have them ready to go every day to upload um but yeah so that's what I was doing it is now one o'clock and I am about to go eat some lunch and then take my dogs to the park because they are just they need to get out of the house and I try to get them out of the house every Wednesday since it's the day that I'm home in the middle of the week um because Phoebe literally ate the chair yesterday I will show you guys in a minute she literally while I was gone at work ate our chair down here and dragged it across the basement like a whole ass chair I'll show you because it's not like a small chair <laughs> I don't even know how she did it she's only 30 pounds she just She's bad. Um, so yeah, I, I try to get them out of the house. So I'm going to take them to the park after I eat some lunch. And then we're probably going to go to Starbucks because that is one of my um, 12 activities is to take them with you to get a festive treat. So I'm going to get a holiday drink and then get them both pup cups. So we're probably going to do that after we go to the park. But um, yeah, and that's just what I've been up do what I've been updating. That's what I've been doing. Just wanted to update you. This is the chair that she ate. Phoebe. Would you like to talk about um what you did yesterday? Hmm. Why is it so out of focus? Yep. She took this chair, ate it, and then dragged it from here all the way to like right here. Um, we think she was trying to take it into my room, <laughs> which is not funny, but it's kind of funny. But yeah, so um this is why. She needs some physical activity and mental enrichment in her life, huh? 
And Luna's still here. Luna's still around. Where do you? She's just being a sweet girl. Luna is like the perfect dog compared to Phoebe, who is a menace to society. <laughs> Fit check before I go take my dogs to the park. My beanie is Adidas. This is my George Mason crew neck because my boyfriend goes to George Mason. So support. Black leggings are colorful koala on Amazon. Christmas socks and my Vessi sneakers. And I actually have a code for Vessi. I will put that on the screen so you guys can get it. I think the code is that one dog mom for 10% off your Vessi sneakers. Um, they sent me these to review for a blog post earlier a few months ago, and my code is good through the end of the year. So if you guys want to use um my code, that one dog mom, and get 10% off your order, I definitely recommend. These are literally my favorite shoes. They sent me this pair and they sent me a white pair as well, and they're completely waterproof, guys. And they're literally my favorite thing in the entire world, especially when I'm going on walks and stuff like that with my dogs. Because, like, today it's kind of rainy, so these are perfect because my feet won't get wet at all. But I also, like, I literally wore them into a river and my feet didn't get wet at all. It's incredible, and they're really good quality and they're really comfortable. I think they'd be great for healthcare workers, um, dog moms. Literally anybody, they're a perfect holiday gift. And yeah, use my code if you guys want to get them for yourself or for a gift. But yeah, going to the park now. It's such a gross rainy day. Yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. <laughs> guys these shoes are literally insane like i'm fully standing in this lake and my feet aren't wet at all like these first of all you can see how like the middle of my shoe doesn't even look wet but my socks could not be drier it's insane go get a pair seriously i'm at a red light right now oh just kidding i just turned green lol oh, um but i just got starbucks with the girls for one our one of our days of holiday activities with your dogs for on um, my tiktok and i got the irish cream cold brew which i got in last year's vlogmas i think or two years ago maybe i don't remember and i like didn't love it but i decided to get it again because i just feel like in theory i should like it like i like a pumpkin cream cold brew i like irish cream like bailey's i like cold brew like there's no reason for me not to like it so i got it again and i have to say i do like it this time so that's on maturing taste buds but anyway i just got home and I am going to go do more work um, for my vlog and stuff. I have some stuff I want to get done on the computer. So that's what I'm going to go do now. But yeah, um, I wanted to show you guys my new car though. Look how pretty she is. <laughs> it was not part of my plan for this year to get a new car. But my car, my Corolla I had, I hated her first of all. I just didn't like her. I got really bored of her really quick. She had nothing cool. She didn't even have a backup camera. She was 2013, so she just had nothing cool. And I kept getting flat tires in that car. I got like seven flat tires in that car in the five years I owned it. Almost six years that I owned it, which is just not normal. And so I got a flat tire back in July. Like, I don't know why. It just one day I literally went to leave to go to work and my tire was like, not even just flat. Like it had like exploded. And it was just bad. And I was like, that was my final straw. I was like, I can't fucking do it anymore. If I get one more flat tire in this car, I will have no cho choice but to crash the car with myself in it because I was so over it. So that day I decided I was just going to buy a new car. And it wasn't the car's fault I was getting flat tires. Like it was probably my fault. I don't know, but it was just annoying. I was like, I would rather get a, new a flat tire in a new car. <laughs> have to get another flat tire in this stupid car so i got a new car it's a she's a 2020 toyota rav4 and she's white with black ex interior and i love her so yeah maybe let me get, know if you guys want me to do a car tour for you i'll show you off my car because i just love it so much it's like my favorite thing big purchase um but you know i can afford it so why not right big girls and much more room for the dogs which works out nicely <laughs> All right, so it's going on five o'clock now. I just finished editing so what I have for the vlog today so far. And honestly, I've decided I don't even need Caitlin. I am entertaining enough on my own. So whatever. But um, it's almost five o'clock. It's 4.50 right now. So I am going to take some time to wrap some presents because I've been purposely waiting for Vlogmas to wrap these presents, but they are driving me crazy. 
I have them all stacked up in a bunch of boxes on top of Phoebe's crate and it just looks ugly and they need to be wrapped. So now that it's finally Vlogmas, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them, but I'm going to do a few until about like 5.30ish maybe because um, then I'm going to need to feed my dogs and take them on a walk and all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I have some time, so I'm going to get that done right now. So this is what I got done so far. Everything else is still over there. I've got presents there. Presents still back there because all of that needs to be put in a box to wrap it. And I just, I didn't feel like going to get a box right now. So that's going to be another day's project. But look how freaking cute the wrapping paper I got this year is, guys. So this is the wrapping paper I got for everyone's presents except for Tito's because it's for friends. I'm obsessed with it. I got it at Target. Love. Um, and then Tito really likes the office. And so I wrapped his presents in um, the office wrapping paper. So this is not all of his presents. Everything else just needs to like go in a box and stuff. But this, these are the few things I wrapped so far. And I think he's going to be really, really excited. Every year for Christmas, my parents like my whole life have wrapped our presents in a different wrapping paper. So like I get a wrapping paper, Leanna gets wrapping paper and they wrap all of our presents in a wrapping paper. And then we see it on Christmas morning and we all have like our own wrapping paper. And this year, um, Tito and Nelson, Leanna's boyfriend are, pro well, Nelson definitely is. Tito most likely is going to have Christmas morning with us. So that's exciting. Um, so I figured I should wrap his presents in his own special wrapping paper if he was going to have Christmas morning with us so that he wasn't alone because my parents also wrap each other's presents in their own special wrapping paper. So that way he'll ha also have his own unique wrapping paper. Um, yeah, and I didn't tell him I got him that, but he's going to come over and he'll see it because it's under my tree. So it's not going to be a surprise on Christmas morning, but that's okay. I think he's going to be really excited. But the friend's wrapping paper, I just could not pass up on it. Honestly, I think my presents should be wrapped in a friend's wrapping paper, but... I wrapped everyone else's presents in it. So yeah, I am really, really excited about that. Hey guys, it's the first day of Vlogmas. Sorry you can't really see me very well. Um, so exciting. The silly thing is, is that I have been getting close with my coworkers and I'm kind of embarrassed to tell them I have a YouTube channel. So I haven't like, I didn't want to vlog today because I was with them all day. Um, and the silly thing is I'm probably gonna be with one of them all day again tomorrow. But then I'm gonna meet up with Maddie and then I'm gonna go to dance. So I'll try to vlog more tomorrow. I'm really sad because it's the first day of Vlogmas and it's so exciting. And like, I would have been able to vlog some because like I was obviously doing something like we went thrifting, which I've literally never been thrifting before. That was my first time. And I was so freaking exhausted because we had a sleepover. So we didn't go to bed until like late and then we woke up early because we went to go visit my other coworker at work. And then we went to go thrifting and I was just really tired and I didn't get to vlog anything. But crazy because we found a, well, my coworker Maggie found a Harry Styles, like one of the pink crew necks with the red Harry and then the, the red truth of kindness at a thrift store. First of all, I was like, that's a hate crime. Why is that at a thrift store? Second of all, hold on. Second of all, get that for me, please. And she was so sweet and she was like, I'm gonna get this for you because you have Harry and then we can share it because I kinda wanna wear it too. And then I was like, hey. Okay. So um, yeah, I got that. I would show you, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna steal it from her tomorrow because I'm going to her house tomorrow. But I did go to dance and I got a clip of, one, it was only one student in the class tonight. There was two, there's normally like seven of them, but only two came and then one had to leave early because she had theater practice. Um, but the other one stayed, so she helped me start choreography for one of my soloists because this year I'm choreographing solos for competition again. I did it last year, and then this year I'm choreographing seven, and last year I only did three. But it's so exciting, and I've finished all, I finished four so far, and then I have two more that I am um, gonna start hopefully next week for both of them. Um, I'm so excited, and they're doing falling. One of them is doing falling by Harry Styles, which is like, yeah. That's right up my alley, obviously. So um, we were choreographing that, so I can insert that clip. But I'm going home now, and I have to be at work at 5:15 in the morning tomorrow. So exciting! But it's okay because it is holiday season, so it's a lot more enjoyable because we have to wear the aprons and the Christmas music and like 
new Christmas lights up this year and holiday drinks and the holiday cheer. It's so cute. Um, but I already know I'm going to be so exhausted because I've been working so early this year. Um, like, I always have to be waking up at 4 a.m. four days a week. So that's really not fun for me, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's already Wednesday. This weeks have been flying by, let me tell you. But anyways, that's besides the point. See, I'm going home now and I thought I would say hi because it is vlogmas. Like, no freaking way. Sorry, it's really dark now, so I'm gonna go, but yeah. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Sorry that I didn't vlog today. It's really embarrassing, but tomorrow is a new day. <clears throat> you know, getting back into the swing of things. So, but we're gonna end the vlog. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day One. Sorry, it probably is the worst vlog. No, actually, my footage is really good. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, it's just tomorrow I have no work, so I'll be able to like, vlog like on my ten and my half and whatever and whatnot. And <laughs> yeah, so maybe I will tell Maggie about the vlogging, and it won't be as embarrassing. We'll see. <laughs> Literally, there's no. Re I just. No one understands why she's embarrassed. There's never been a person she wouldn't tell before. It's weird that she's actually well, why. Yeah. Well, it's embarrassing if all my coworkers, like, if my coworkers start finding out I have it a YouTube channel. Matter. No, because they're going to start watching all the videos. Students know. Okay, it's different. Your classmates are well, all of middle school, high school, new. Weird things. Anyways, it's, it's different. It's just different. Um, so. She's suddenly too cool for us, guys. No, it's, I'm not too cool for you. I just need to, like, <laughs> ease into it. Like, hold on. I just, my hair's doing weird things, so I put it in a bun for dance and. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. two. Peace, Peace, love, and ladybugs. Bye.